Alrighty. And let's see. Put that there. It's not windy today, so should be able to kind of keep the listing in check. Fuel drain. Alright, got the fuel drain here for checking the fuels. Alright, see what we got here. Flaps. What I do down here is I look for anything unusual. No tampering. Everything looks good there. Nuts tight. Everything looks good there. Alright, fuel vent line is under here. It looks good. It's sticking out. That's right there. Right over here. Alrighty. Alright, let's get over to the aileron here. Make sure it moves. Looks good on me. Looks like it's all together. Safety wire is on. And it moves up. So that's good. And let's see. We've got the wing tip to check. All the screws look tight. Feel tight. Bulbs on. Nav lights on. Position lights on. Peter tube here. I'm going to go ahead and take this thing off here. Check the inside. Nice thing about pre-flight, you touch everything where I do. Make sure I touch it and feel it and make sure it looks good. It's clear. Feel the tube's clear. Okay. What have we got next on the checklist here? Lightning light. That looks good. Bulbs in there. No night flying, so it's no problem. Tie down. Tie down. Loosen the sink here. Take this off. Usually I just put this in front of the plane so I can see it from the cockpit. Double check that it is indeed untied. Stall horn. Free movement. Look good there. Fuel tank. Pop this up here. Take that off. And as you can see, it's full of water. No, full of gas, not water. Blue, it's clear. Alright, filler cap is secure. And I need to tap on it a couple times. Make sure it's secure. Tire brakes look good. No leaks on the ground. No tread looks good. Fuel sump. Oh, go ahead and fuel sump this thing here. What I'm looking for is blue. That's blue in there. Slight tint of the blue. There's no debris, no bubbles. That's kind of poured on the ground. The EPA I know has a fit, but oh well. We're in Mississippi. Okay, left cow looks good. All the screws look tight. Nothing uh, loose. Come around in the front. Air intake. Filter looks good. No bird's nest up in here. That's in there. Okay. Propeller. Looking for nicks. Also feeling for them. And then I'll also do one little extra check here. I'm going to kind of tug on it, make sure it doesn't wiggle back and forth. Spinner. All the screws are on. Nothing loose. Takes care of the propeller. Tire and nose gear. Everything looks good down there. Nice and round. Everything looks good. Nothing in here. No bird's nests. Nothing crazy like that. Engine oil. Come in here. Pour the dipstick out a little bit. Nice clean oil. Hopefully the uh, video pickup it has that six quarts. It's clear. Well, just changed probably about six hours ago, so not bad. Usually I keep between five and six. Anything below five, obviously, I need to fill, but anything over six it kind of blurns off, so blows out, so I don't fill it more than six. Across countries, I'll go up to six and a half, just because I feel a little better about it. Okay, right cow. Cap is down. All the screws are good. Go ahead and strain down here at the bottom of the engine. The lowest point. Hopefully no water. 
everything looks good. And again, it's blue, it's light pink blue, no water, no debris. That goes. And let's see, chalk store, no chalk store remove. And right now we're up to here where it says fuel sump for the right landing gear and then fire brake check. So we'll go ahead and do that. Hopefully again. Fuel here. And again it's clear, no bubbles, blue, no debris. So that looks good. And we check the wing tank here. Again, full tank, nice blue, and it is fuel. It's so good to know. Got plenty of fuel for today's flight. There's a couple approaches, IFR. Won't need IFR handling up there, but it's going to go a little further. But it was uh, raining to the south of here, so I figured I'd just keep it in the area. Fuel cap is secure, tie down. Let's go ahead and remove this tie down. Being removed. And again, I'll put it to the front so I can see it from the cockpit in the plane. So that takes care of that. And so here we are at the uh, taxi light. There is no taxi light. Check the wing tip and position light. So again, the wing tip here. All the screws are on. Position light's intact. Everything look underneath there looks good. Doesn't hurt to glance under there. Alright, we go behind the trailing edge here. We got the aileron to check. And let's see. There we go. Everything looks tight there. Movement's clear and free. Nothing weird, no rubbing noise, anything unusual. Alright. Come back down here. And we'll check the flap again, right back under here. Everything's good there. Everything looks good here. And better be able to brake tire, brake lines. Everything looks good, no leaks, real good. Underneath looks good. Okay. Takes care of the flaps. Fill that line here. Got a tiny protrusion there, it looks clear. Everything looks good. Alright. Kind of hard to look at the camera and look at what I'm doing so obviously the more important things look at what I'm doing so gotta keep that in mind safety first stive port clear no water in there emergency ELT I just assume it's on but that would be located back here to check that and feel for the on switch okay and then the control surface is back on the tail feather here. Alright, let them look the first free movement. Up and down. Everything looks good. No unusual bubble noises. Real good there. Because the controls are interconnected, the rudder doesn't move like a Cessna. So what I do is I kind of pull on it, make sure there's no movement back and forth then side to side. Final check would be, of course, when I do the controls free and clear inside the plane. Tie down. And go ahead and pull this out. And again, I put this to the right of the plane so I can see it from the inside. Make sure. And just one of those little cross checks. Call paranoia, call it what you want. It saves me embarrassment trying to pick up the earth if I try to take off with it tied down. So, position lights all look good from the outside. Come around here. Static button. Looks good. Nothing's in there. Helps to point the camera to it. Can first focus with my finger and be paying attention to myself. Alright, step back a little bit. Look around. All the antennas look tight. Everything looks good up there. And then usually what I do is I just take one big old step back and get a good overview of the plane. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Right here, it looks good. So pretty much everything looks good on the outside. Last thing needs to be done is return this fuel tester, 
and the In there, and put my little heat cover removed before flight, which is done. Put a heat cover, so everything looks good. One thing I really need to do now is just wipe off the windshield so I can see while I'm taxiing. So I'll go ahead and shut this down here and then uh, proceed on the inside. So just double check everything. So, at any rate, that's what I do on the outside. Hopefully, people will have some input and make me a little better check something maybe I'm missing, but that's the way I do a pre-flight uh, before I go take off. So I'll go ahead and shut this down and then I'll be talking shortly. Bye.